everyone, welcome back to Living in Country. I'm Holly and today we have another absolutely stunning fall home tour to share today. And I am so excited to have Laura Jean back and sharing her mobile home for the fall season. If you guys missed her summer home tour, I will link it right above here. It is full of affordable DIY projects, really budget friendly home decorating, antiques, farmhouse decor, and you guys are just gonna absolutely love her. So I'm so excited to have her back. Her Instagram handle is Mobile Home Cottage, and I'll have it down in the description box down below. So what are you gonna see from Laura Jean? You're gonna see affordable home decor, antiques from thrifty places, and she does everything on an extreme budget, which I absolutely love and admire, and I'm so excited. You guys are gonna love her home. You're gonna love it. I just finished watching it. I'm gonna be watching it with you guys, and so, so excited to get this tour started. And it wouldn't be a home tour without an awesome, awesome deal for you guys. So today I'm excited to share the Simply Earth subscription box, which is an affordable, really great essential oil company and I share it every month. So this is their September box and it's full of fall diffuser scents. So for $39.99 you can get this really great essential oil box plus a bonus box with coconut oil, almond oil, and all that good stuff to make other kind of fun DIY projects. So they always have kind of a theme in mind. And so this one is their fall theme and they've just got so many great essential oils in here and I have one of their blends going actually right now and they've got these really, really fun like DIY projects inside so you guys can make natural hydrating body spray. This is the It's Fall, y'all, so you guys can use three essential oils in here to make a diffuser blend. You have the exfoliating body polish. Oop, there's one back here. Oh, a cleansing foot soak. The best natural lotion. And then muscle soothing roll on. So if you get this box right here, you can get a bonus box absolutely for free uh, by using my link down below. So super, super fun way to save. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this deal. And let's go ahead and tour Laura Jean's home today. I am so excited for you guys to see this one. Let's go ahead and welcome her here today and get started. Hi, I'm Laura Jean from Mobile Home Cottage and today I'm going to take you on a fall tour of my home. I want to thank Holly for having me here, inviting me back. I was actually um, in the summer tour as well. So if you caught that and you're coming back, I thank you so much for returning. If you didn't catch that one, um, go check it out because there's a little bit of background about how we ended up in a in a mobile home and um, that might be interesting to you so anyway um, I'm going to take you inside and I want you to I pre-recorded that so never mind the banging my husband is outside working uh, my dogs this time were actually really good so that's a plus um, but anyway yeah thanks for stopping by and um, I hope you enjoy it Okay, so this is my entryway. Oh, let's take the door behind me. My entryway is very small, so I like to decorate it um, so that it gives a lot of, so it tells a story about the house when you walk in. And I think that this space, when you first look at it, you kind of get my style. And I like that, that you see right away when you walk in, you know, kind of what my style is about. Um, up above, that scrolly piece, that's actually a faux piece. Those are some real branches with fake pears on them. 
you will see a reoccurring theme around here. I like to bring the outdoors in. It's free, it's beautiful. That's my husband working outside. Here's this corner cabinet that I change out a lot. Um, some of my scales and the birdhouse that I made in the spring. I've got some dried sunflowers around. So the dining area is kind of just open with everything else. I did change out my chairs, my captain chairs. They were taller and I found these shorter ones, painted them, and I like them much better because they, um, the lower profile just kind of makes it seem more open. I'll show you my tablescape here, the centerpiece I recently made. And these beautiful bowls I picked up from a thrift store. And underneath are some chargers that my husband sliced off for me and I stamped them. My husband's really noisy outside. Um, these leaves I had painted out of, I believe they were paper, garbage bags, or I'm sorry, grocery bags. Painted them, cut them out, and so they'll last all season. Over here, this little cabinet is something I picked up on the side of the road, and I painted it. I like to keep our plates out on these risers. I think they're pretty to display, and it actually uh, frees up some cupboard space as well. Another one of my little scales, vintage scoop. This black sink actually came with the mobile home. It's one of the things we didn't change out and I really like it a lot. Um, up above, I put a little shelf and um, a tension rod and drop cloth curtains. Those are my little creamer, little creamer collection. I like to display things up on top of my cabinets. The vent above the stove was like some weird wallpapered thing and I covered that with slats of wood. Got some corn stalks up there. My little tiny coffee station. My stencil backsplash. Another drop cloth curtain below the sink, and then that vintage throw rug, um, which was like a super cheap thrift store find. I think it was seven dollars or something like that. There's some branches that I cut out back, and then over here is my microwave area. That uh, washstand is an antique from my grandma. display some antiques, the bakery sign I made. So the washstand is painted to match the island, which has got to be my favorite piece in the house. That is a Facebook marketplace find that I um, repainted. It's on casters, so it moves easily. And it has a really awesome leaf over here that is perfect for when we have big dinners and I just kind of put all the food out on there and everybody walks around and even though it's a small kitchen, it works out really well. My kitchen is my favorite room in the house, definitely. So I'll bring you around here to the living room. French doors we added. The fireplace is a working fireplace. These are my pups. Hence the reason for the blankets on the couch. These stools I recently recovered. My husband says they're itchy. <laughs> so this is a really cozy corner. This is where I watch TV and 
read books and um, my husband and I spend a lot of time here together. This little door I found on the side of the road, so that was an exciting find. And the print there, I picked up at the thrift store the other day for $5, and I really, really love it. This old stool is another roadside find. My husband and kids are so embarrassed of me. <laughs> the little crate there, I made that. Um, you can go to my link on my Instagram and go to Home Talk and see a lot of different projects that I've done around here, including the pillowcases there. I'll bring you around this way, and that chair there is a thrift store find. These shelves on either side of my fireplace can kind of be um, intimidating to decorate sometimes. I don't want them to look cluttery. Here's my mantle. Those are my grocery bag leaves. My little crate of pumpkins and some more dried sunflowers. And then over here, on the other side, we have another one of those shelves. Lots of blankets all around. So I will take you this way to my bedroom. And as you can see, um, the herringbone design on my door is actually Sharpie. That table leg is to keep the door shut. It gets so windy sometimes here that all of a sudden the door will slam and scare you half to death. So this is my humble little bedroom, not very big at all, but it serves its purpose. These side tables were a desk that I had cut down and painted, and the mirrors up there I antique, those are thrift store finds, and I aged the mirrors on them so that they're very cloudy because who wants mirrors above their bed? this way and show you that's the ensuite um, drop cloth curtain there and that little dresser that I painted for all of my cosmetics this like um, crocheted piece on my bed that was my grandma's also I like this angle of my home right here. We have popcorn ceilings and carpeted floors. And then I don't love those things and maybe they'll change someday, but right now that's just the way things are. Let me pan around this way for you. And I will take you down my hall. All my essential oils and an old print tray. So this is my bathroom, um, the main bathroom that the kids use. Needs updating, but we just painted things for now, including the floor, stamped it, stenciled it, I should say, and that's gonna work for now. This piece here is from a thrift store, this lattice. They just added a piece to the top and painted that little square with the same stencil from the bathroom and my backsplash in my kitchen. This is my laundry room. Um, some more painted floors, painted linoleum. And my green door. The end of the hall here, I made that wreath. 
in the sign underneath. And this cute little sign as well. This room to the left is what we call the bee shed, which is a nice little sitting room, but right now my husband is putting in a wood stove, so it's kind of a mess. This room back here is what we call our mud room. This was a bedroom at one time, and when we moved in and put our house on a full basement, we needed access to the basement. So my husband cut a hole in the floor and put in some stairs, and we shift lapped it in here, and this is what we call our mud room. That's the door that goes out to the two-car garage that we added. And then I have a nice little closet here with a drawer cloth curtain. But this weird area over here, it's... You really can't use it for much of anything. You can see it's very narrow. You have the stairs down there. So it actually works out really well for my plants. I started a lot of plants this spring there, and the sun coming in is... It's like a little greenhouse, so it's really cool. Um, I'm glad that I found good use for it. I didn't want it to be like a catch-all. Those branches there I picked yesterday and put them above my little moon I made. So we'll bring it back down this way and I didn't really show you my deck out there. Um, it's pretty windy, so I don't think I'll go out there, but we've got a pool and a hot tub, and I just decorated a little bit for fall with some corn stalks. We have a little fire area out there that my husband will enjoy. Oh my, don't mind the banging. So that is everything. If you have any questions, you can comment below or go to my Instagram page, DM me. Um, I would really love, if you're not a follower, if you would follow me over there. And I will continue to try to inspire. I thank you for coming today and stopping by. And I hope you all have a really amazing and blessed fall.